When we have really cold temperatures, fastening can happen very quickly. And the reason for that is that it's in order to create fastening, we need what's called a temperature gradient in the snowpack. It means it needs to be a large temperature difference. And the ground, the ground is pretty much always zero degrees Celsius. So we have zero degrees Celsius at the ground. I have a thermometer and I measured the snow surface temperature and here it was minus 17. So in 45 centimeters, we had a 17 degree difference, which is quite large. Now what happens is the snow here isn't very dense. There's a lot of air in the snow. And that air in the snow is saturated. It's 100% humidity. It means it's full of water molecules. What water vapor will do is it migrates through the snowpack as it moves from warmer areas to colder areas. So down at the ground, uh, the water vapor is slowly moving up through the snowpack. Now, when water vapor moves, it's only moving from one snow crystal to another snow crystal. And when it moves to that other snow crystal and refreezes, it freezes in this ice crystal, which is incredibly angular. It's no so as the water vapor is moving from crystal to crystal, what's driving that process is this temperature difference. Now, there's a threshold, the minimum threshold for this to happen, and that is one degree Celsius for 10 centimeters. Since we have 45 centimeters here, that's four and a half degrees Celsius we would need difference in order to see faceting. We have 17. So we have almost four times the amount of temperature gradient needed to drive this process and create facets. And that's why here we're seeing lots of facets and we're seeing them grow incredibly quickly.